Yeah, Rob, at schools outside is typically for recess, lunch break, maybe a PE class. Today, it turned work from textbooks, also online, into education. Well, it brought some spontaneous outbursts of excitement. Kids seeing the solar eclipse. I thought it looked really cool. It's just cool to see that the moon is like in front of the sun. I think it was really exciting. It's, it rarely ever happens. An out of the ordinary day of learning. This is way different. We have glasses and some other classes made pinhole projectors. Multiple ways to observe and see the rare occurrence in the solar system. <laughs> Teachers and school leaders also hear something. That's the sound of learning right there. We want our learners excited and uh, to be thirsty to, to learn more. This is an awesome day for teaching. Students are very engaged and they're very excited about what's going on today. The rotation of the solar system, the mathematics of figuring out the alignment of planets, and basics of how to view a solar eclipse safely. Usually you can't look at the sun because you'll get blind. My teacher's been asking us to put it in like order what happens. We are coming out multiple times today at different times and we're seeing how the um, moon is um, moving through the sun. A live action event for students to look up and learn. The moon is like black and all around it is black so you can't see the sky and right now the sun looks like a smiley face. And a lot of smiles with that. It was a few minutes of viewing today with a whole lot of work coming up to this day. There were one of the most important things was sending notes home to parents, making sure they were aware of the dangers of kids looking at the sun. The school was taking them outside. Any kids that wanted to go outside today had to have a signed note from their parents. If they did not, they were not left out. The kids inside had a live stream the whole time to watch in the halls and the classrooms of the school. Watching out for you in Colorado Springs. Bill Folsom, News 5.